prior to this project, when we did our ancestor projects, I never felt that the children really understood truly what that meant to have immigrated. This was now you know, moving into this more social realm of actually now we're talking about people. We're talking about where they've come from, how and why they've migrated to America. We start with modes of transportation. They had to create a steel shape that embodied a particular mode of transportation. I had one little student, she just took to it immediately. She was so expressive with her body, with her face. She just knew the details. Then we sit down and we just asked them, why do you think people might choose to move from one country to another? And they came up with 20 reasons why people might emigrate from really serious, unpleasant reasons to a really positive, fun, you know, I want to go somewhere new and make new friends. Each duet picked one idea and then that was their idea that they had to then show with their partner. If people have got all these reasons why they travel, how might they be feeling about it? Again, we just collected this whole long list and we would interject questions along the way like, if you're the dad, do you think maybe you feel the same thing as the five-year-old daughter? Do you think you would only feel one emotion? We would just add in questions that would encourage them to think about all these multifaceted ways that we feel emotions. I also had another boy, never saw him smile, very solemn. When we would go to Coda, he was just running and doing things and his face had expression. So for him, this was a very special time. We've expressed some emotions. How can we have a structure that contains those emotions? So I collected some pictures of a family who is immigrating. We just showed those photos and we asked them to take on a family role and to then construct a family portrait. Three people in the portrait hold it still while one person comes to life and comes out of that portrait and shows us how they are feeling. And then they return back into the portrait. The way they put their arms on each other and way one would be the child and one would be the parent, they really were really, really had internalized what the whole process was. I had discovered this amazing book, The Arrival, and I remembered it speaking about immigration. The father who's leaving is packing his suitcase and the children had already noticed then but he was choosing carefully what to take. And so I thought we can bring in some boxes. These boxes can be symbolic of the suitcase. If they had to choose to take something with them, what would they be choosing to take? The way we then brought them into the movement piece was to have them as a little prop. Here's your precious cargo. Here's your suitcase of belongings. Here's your photo of someone from home that you're taking with you. It was always just so powerful what we were doing with the kids and the children responded so well. So in our last couple of weeks, we took on the task of putting together elements of everything the children had done to create a sharing. So we created a movement piece that moved through that same structure that we had worked through. And we decided it was gonna be like a museum, that this was a, a moving museum with moving exhibit pieces. It really took it to a personal level that I feel like these children will look at immigration for the rest of their lives in a totally different manner. They need the arts, I feel, to make school joyful and to actually learn the subject matter.